I'm Heather with Urban Threads. Today I'll show you how to embroider a gorgeous 3D butterfly and add it to a shadow box frame. After I embroider my butterfly using organza and water soluble stabilizer, I'll stitch my new creation onto fabric. Let's get started. I'll begin by embroidering the butterfly design. When you download the design, you will see four files. Two are the die lines marked as DL. The other two files are the embroidery files. One for the 3D butterfly wings and one for the butterfly body and text. Print the die line files using embroidery software. I'll use the die line printouts to cut the fabric for the front and back of the butterfly. Spray the back side of the die lines with a little temporary spray adhesive, then place them on the fabric. I'm using organza. Cut out the shapes and remove the paper. Next, hoop a piece of heavyweight water soluble stabilizer. I'm matching the top and bobbin thread since you can see the butterfly from both sides. Load the butterfly design and begin stitching. For the first color change, a die line will stitch onto the stabilizer. Spray the back side of the front organza piece with adhesive, then place it within the die line shape. For the next color change, a front piece tack down will stitch. Next, carefully remove the hoop from the machine, but don't unhoop the stabilizer. Use adhesive to attach the back organza piece within the die line shape on the back side of the embroidery. Attach the hoop back onto the machine. A tack down stitch will sew the back fabric piece in place. The details of your butterfly will sew next. Be sure to match your bobbin thread to your top thread as you sew. When the design is finished sewing, trim to remove the excess stabilizer. Then, soak the design to remove the rest. Allow your piece to air dry. Next, hoop a piece of fabric with medium weight cutaway stabilizer. I'm embroidering on canvas. Load the butterfly body and text design, then embroider. The first color changes the wing placement die line and the antenna. Lightly spray the middle of the wing piece with adhesive and place the center within the two middle horizontal lines. A wing tack down sews next, followed by the body and the text. Now I'll add it to the shadow box. Remove the back of the frame. Place the fabric on top of the frame back and center it within the shape. Turn it over and trace the shape onto the back of the embroidered piece. Then cut out the shape. Place the embroidered piece onto the frame back and attach it to the frame. You can add double stick tape or hot glue onto the frame back before adding the embroidered piece to help hold the fabric in place. And now you have a gorgeous frame piece of art. For step-by-step -step instructions, embroidery designs, tips, and other inspiration, check us out at www.urbanthreads.com.